Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So real quick, I have a package from my bro, my bro ham, uh, Evan over at Knife Ninja EDC. He sent something, I believe, for Christmas. And actually, I'm going to do a real quick, real quick, because I already said real quick, you know what I mean? Um, I got my chickadees back, so I have three chickadees, as you know. Um, starting. I got a little bit of the small fixed blade game. AKA just chickadees, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, and yeah, here they are. So they got sharpened by a bro. Uh, his name is Kyle Coonley, and he is, you know, he's in the comments, he's in the chats on live stream and stuff like that, and he sharpens. Uh, he takes customers for sharpening. I believe it's called professional sharpening. I believe he does stones, and he has um, a TS prof of some sort. Anyway, I sent him my three chickadees, so obviously I have this root beer float one that I have in this oh, sexy natural leather um, Oak City slip, and you can see how, this is the one I carried today and I used a little bit, but um, this is the non-mirrored edge. This was, I paid less because I didn't get the mirrored edge, <laughs> and by golly George, I gotta say, uh, it looks pretty damn mirrored to me. <laughs> So maybe I just don't know what a mirrored edge is. He said it was a uh, thousand grit he went up to. So there's that. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I want out of the box with a knife. And um, yeah, just I didn't get that with the chickadee. No, it cut paper fine. And, you know, it's not uh, it's not like a knife you buy to cut paper. I'm weird, you know, but that's what I wanted. So I sent them off. It cost me, I think, 65 bucks total. Uh, I did ship it there, and then I paid 65 so you could probably say 70 uh, 75 bucks, depending on, you know, and I had three knives sharpened, um, so I think it's a pretty good price, it's like 20 bucks a knife, something like that, and it's a great edge, and un unless you know how to do this yourself, you know, um, you gotta pay somebody to do it, and doing things takes time, you know, so I think the price was fair, um, I'm happy with it, I'm really happy he got them turned around pretty quick took about a week maybe i think it was about a week maybe a week and a half with shipping and everything um but that's you know perfectly fine with me so look at that edge that's not mirrored apparently um i think i sliced a little bit in here because i like you know it's so fucking sharp so hold on get this in there boom that's in so i got that one and I got this one, which is like the Sailor something version. And this one, you can see, also has a, a non <laughs> a non mirrored edge. Um, I think they're all just like sliding on the leather. One thing you got to hate about um, leather sheaths and stuff is, you know, getting them in and out sucks. I have cut every one of the, the slips down there. I don't know a way not to. You put it in like this and then... You know, this one has a little less retention. Well, no, there it goes. And then I have the OG, the Salt Lake one. These are all in Magna Cut. Yeah, they're all in Magna Cut. And they actually all are different thicknesses, which is interesting. So the stock gets thicker as it goes. So this one's the thinnest, then this one, then that one. It's weird. He mentioned that when he sharpened them. I forgot to tell him, but I noticed it when I did the review. This one also mirrored i can't believe this is a thousand grit and it's literally mirrored i don't know i guess you can get it shinier than that but this is perfect for what i need um for edc and whatnot he said two of them and i, I can see it here it might have been all of them have this little area right here um where he said he'd have to take off a ton more material basically three sharpenings worth to get it to look the same throughout i don't know if it's just thicker down there or something but he did assure me that it was sharp down there yeah uh, so i have no problem with that visually it looks fine these are fantastic dude thank you so if you guys need any of your knives sharpened or you need them reprofiled or whatever i believe he does all that stuff hit up kyle coonley uh if i remember I will link his Instagram down below. Um, if I don't remember and you see this um, and you are a moderator or um, you just 
have a second please put his instagram in the comments so that other people can see it i just don't want to forget i might and i don't want to leave that hanging so uh yeah kyle coonley awesome dude and uh awesome service i mean what you know i don't know what else you want this was in my pocket so it's going back in my pocket i do like carrying them normally too just like uh on the belt sheath but you know i was rocking that in the front left and then i was rocking my new venom jack in the uh front left uh because i got another one i didn't realize i uh sort of reserved one and so i already had gotten one and then i got this one and i don't know it's you know they're all very very similar i think i like this a little bit better just maybe a little bit snappier but both are fantastic so uh, i think i have somebody who wants the other one so uh if not I'll, I'll probably put it up for sale or something but uh sick northwoods leatherworks slip if you guys ever need a, a leather slip definitely check out northwoods leatherworks and then of course jack wolf knives all right we have a package here from uh ev knife ninja edc if you guys don't follow uh ev definitely follow him on instagram it's knife ninja edc and i believe there's two people with that name now so just make sure it's him um uh, he's awesome he lives in like san diego he runs a feed shop escondido feed supply and um he's just sending a, i guess a gift so he says dear kev laugh out loud i think it says laugh out loud um love you guys hashtag knife fools for life merry christmas there these lights are actually dope ev <laughs> all right let's see that's what i'm talking about oh okay oh so i think he sells these at his uh shop and uh he says there's a nebo light i remember him talking about this and where's my cool and I got the Delica here, the custom mod Delica. I keep going back and forth on it like I like it, you know? But do I love it? I don't know. But then I carry it constantly. So, like, maybe I love it. I don't know. It's just different. Like, I, I maneuver it differently, right? Like, it's not like every other knife where I just drop shut or whatever. Like, occasionally I'll try to flick it, but I usually slow roll it, and then I do this to close it. So, I'll slow roll it do this to close it honestly the reverse flick is kind of nice with the clip left-handed because you can rest your finger on top of the clip and get a lot of power through it and you can throw this down like that hopefully it just keeps breaking in i really do enjoy it so the nebo torchy 2000 lumens magnetic base aircraft grade aluminum pocket clip rechargeable Sounds very Olight-y, right? Look at that. It's got like the same... Are these made by Olight for somebody? Look at that. That's the same exact mechanism. That's weird. Does Olight do OEM work? Ugh. Maybe it's just a different magnetic base, but that's cool. So you get, yeah, you get the magnet on the back, and it's blue instead of being like... Or, sorry not blue here's the olight one it does look a little different it's a little bigger the olight ring is a little bit bigger and it's a different mechanism okay 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 then of course i got it all caught come on Let's go. there we go all right so got another charger for another thing hopefully maybe the olight ones will work but anyway just pop it on there got it you get this little clip that I don't think comes with it. Um, you have a clip, a very Olighty clip. This is funny. Um, then you get your little tactical thing on the front. Before use, open. Yeah, we know the rules. We know the rules, bro. There we go. That's a, that's a big-ass battery. That's how you get 2,000 lumens, I guess. Tighten that bitch down, and you get a side button. That's a cool button. There you go. Wow, that's cool. It lights up orange. 
Yes, that's what intrigues me. Look at that. Lower, low. I guess that's high. What if I double click? Oh, sorry. What happened there? Oh, I'm holding. So confused. That it was brighter than that a second ago. Right? Ah, you hold down for turbo. That's bright too. It's like burning my hand right now. And it did tone down there when I clicked. Okay. How do I turn it off? Okay. Cool. All right. So that's the Nebo light. Cool. Thank you, dude. That's awesome. So that's from Ev. Again, Knife Ninja EDC. Um, he, he doesn't have a YouTube or anything like that. He's just a buddy on Instagram. But you should follow him on Instagram. He has really cool knives. And then he has fucking awesome uh, content. Like he just, or pictures, sorry. Because he's um, he lives like right on a lake somewhere in San Diego. It's, it's crazy how cool his... Uh, his house and everything is so uh, definitely check that out and this can go bang sit right there all right cool um yeah i wonder if the olight base would work but probably not so we'll have to figure that part out uh, but i rarely need to charge my lights that are up here i kind of use them as magnets and then my kid plays with them occasionally the only light i really use often is my cwf in my pocket all the time it's in my pocket so anyway i'm gonna set this aside cool thank you ev appreciate that dude all right now we have a package from cmb so this is a new knife it took a while to get here they sent this like a month ago i think it's their new model i think it's called the dharma uh, i've seen it a bunch of times now online because i guess they sent a few out and um, those people got them a little quicker. Yeah, it is the Dharma, and I got the Thai plus CF plus steel. I don't know what that means. I guess it's steel, um, steel liner lock, because I think it's a liner lock. We actually have a prototype from CMB, Devo Knives. We have a prototype, which is awesome uh, i really like their we have two prototypes from them enjoy those um let me see actually we might have had four made I, I can't remember now we did we did so this is just the regular kind of carbon fiber okay i've seen them with the copper and aluminum stuff but this is cool all right and this is an interesting looking knife that is one of the reasons i was kind of like interested to check it out when they asked because um, it has this interesting flipper on it. So this is the Dharma. And I believe it's available now. First thing that caught my eye is the transitions. And it's hard to tell. I think it's just because it's the black coated handle. It looks like it's off. And I think it is a little bit. It, it's kind of hanging over a little bit. That's okay. It's not horrible. It's good milled clip i don't know who designed this it's m390 um and um cmb does their own i believe they do their own machining and everything um as far as you know that goes in china um but they do oem services so i think they do some of their own stuff um, price point wise they're very similar to a best tech so could be that they're having somebody else do it. Ow. This is a very weird flipper tab. It's just a little little guy. I don't know if it's better to oop, better to reach around. Not really. Try to get it like this. Maybe something to get used to. Um, so you have a black DLC blade. Not something I like. I prefer a, a black wash. So maybe a tumble over this. But it's okay. You have that kind of on the scales, which looks nice. I really, or on the frame, I do really like this carbon fiber. It's got some really nice, interesting sheen to it, or whatever you'd want to call it. Um, but yeah, check that out. You have a, you have a uh, whatchamacallit, 
finger choil, which is nice. Feels good in the hand. Drop point blade. Yeah, this is cool. M39. Very thick stock, it looks like. Um, and now it is a liner lock. And it is a steel liner lock, which is interesting. I don't know what the price point is. But steel liner lock in M390 with titanium and carbon fiber. I don't know. I, I think I would expect it to be, you know, 200 bucks, something like that. You know, as soon as you add a titanium liner with insert, like, you know, what we've been trying to do, uh, we haven't done that on everything. We have a mid-range knife that has a steel liner lock, but um, it gets a little more pricey when you get to titanium. But I feel like a lot of companies just do the steel and charge what they would charge for a titanium liner, so... I don't know how much the cost really affects anything. Let me see if I can get the get the hang of this. Yeah, that is not my favorite flipper tab. It's just not, I don't know. It's just awkward because of where it is. And like, how are you supposed to get it? If I get it like this, I kind of come around and hit myself with that flipper. So it got to be lower and then, I don't know. I just, that's not enjoyable to me or really repeatable. Now, the flipper tab, I like. It's got some jimping right here. It should it should have those jimps along the back here, I think, too. That would be very nice to have that as you drag through. The D10, I would say, is good. Um, definitely nothing to sneeze at there. It's fine. Um, you have an internal stop. You actually have garage stops, if you look at that. See it there. And then it rides, comes out, and then it rides through and pops in. So... It's like sort of half garaged stops. You have a slot, which works really well. They got the detent dialed for that slot. You can thumb flick off of it, reverse flick. And then left-handed, you have no problem because it's a liner lock. Um, that's something I really like is that the liner lock makes it easy to use left-handed. Now, I wish the clip was reversible because it looks like they could have maybe pulled that off. But eh, maybe not the way they placed it. But it uh, would have been a nice touch since it is kind of a lefty-friendly knife in a sense. Action's really good. Centering's dead nuts. I mean, there's there's a lot of good here. I will say the lock bar access is not my favorite. Um, they did put the jimping in here, but you can see it's not, like, recessed very much. So I'm kind of getting the corner of my thumb, and it's slipping through sometimes. Um, but fire's out. Very comfortable in the hand, choked up grip. Yeah, I like it. So this is the Dharma. So I'll be doing a full review on this. I'm gonna check it out for a little bit, see what I think, see if I can get used to this uh, front flipper tab. I mean, it's not it's not like impossible or anything. It's just not great. I just don't love it. So I don't know, but. Um, I also don't like the detent track being outside of the blade or outside of the handle like that. Just to me exposes it to dirt and grime and shit that could get in there. Um, it's definitely part of the design. I mean, there's going to be benefits to that. You probably get better blade to handle ratio. Um, you know, maybe some other stuff in terms of action, you get more weight out to the tip or something, but not my favorite in terms of aesthetic or function because I... I want that to be hidden so it can stay clean, if that makes sense. So there we go. That is the Dharma from uh, CMB Knives. Really cool. Thank you to CMB for sending this my way. I do appreciate that. So we'll put that out here. I got the Dharma. Put my uh, Lynch Delica here. Grab my new cool light. Thank you to Ev for the light. Nebo. And uh, yeah. Shout out to Kyle Coonley for the sharpening. And uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Really appreciate it, guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.